Hi friends! My name's Daffodil and I'm coming to you from Pennsylvania and this week I want to talk to you guys about community gardens! You might be wondering what a community garden is. You might be thinking of your local green space or park and you're on the right track. Those places are there for your community nearby and at all times. But a community garden on top of that is where you and your neighbors can grow fruits and veggies together. You guys get to work as a team and everyone has the benefit of it. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a lot of fun to me. We're going to head over onto Sloth and hear more about it. Hi everyone, I'm Sloth and today I'm going to show you my community garden. So my community garden is the garden that I share with my family in my backyard. Here we've got an apple tree. And you can see that its apples are really small right now, but hopefully they'll grow up soon and I'll be able to share them with my family and my neighbors. I also have this olive tree over here. It doesn't have any olives on it yet, but hopefully they'll grow soon. And the same with this lemon tree. There's no lemons right now, but hopefully they'll grow soon as well and I can make some lemonade. Lots of different types of community gardens. For example, your neighborhood might have a community garden or you might have a backyard where you have a garden that you share with your family. Even if you don't have a backyard, you can still have a community garden that could be little herb plants by your windowsill or other plants in your house. Also, your school might have a community garden. Remember that the most important thing about a community garden is that you're working with other people to grow food and other plants. Hey, Sprout Up Scientists. I'm Snail and I'm at my parents' house in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, this is what our garden looks like. Right now we're growing some daffodils. Later in the summer we'll have some things like lavender and tomato plants. We all work together in this garden to do things like pull up weeds, plant seeds, and prune trees. We also have lots of neighbors that we like to share what we've grown with. So this is our little community garden. Right now it's early spring, so we have some daffodils that are flowering and I'm gonna show you how to cut them to put them in a vase beside my bed. Okay, so when you're cutting flowers, it's always best to cut as far down the stem as you can so that if you want to cut it shorter later inside, you can. And it's also good to try to cut the stem on a diagonal like this. It just helps the plant to get more water. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to plant a seed. So you don't have to have a big outdoor space to have a community garden. A community garden can even be a single potted plant on your windowsill that you and your family or your friends or your neighbors all take care of together. So here I have a pot and in it I'm going to show you how to pot a pea seed. So here I have some pea seeds. I'll show you what they look like. They literally are just little dried out peas. And I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put it in the soil. So when you put a seed into soil, it starts a process called germination. And we talked about germination in a previous video, but germination is basically just the process where a plant turns from a little seed into a mature plant. So the first thing that a seed needs in order to germinate is soil. So I have this pot of soil and I wanna put the pea in it by using my finger to create a little hole. So I'm gonna put my finger into the soil um, one to two inches, which is about the full length of my index finger. And I'm just gonna drop the seed into that hole. And then I'm gonna cover the hole up. And then I wanna give the seed some water. So I'm gonna give this plant a bunch of water because a seed also needs water to be able to germinate. And then in about one to two weeks, this seed will be able to germinate. So there you go, water comes out the bottom of the pot. And in about one to two weeks, the seed will germinate. So it'll send out roots underground and then it'll send up a little shoot and a couple of leaves and then we'll have our pea plant. So I also made this little label that says peas on one side and also the date on the other side, just so I remember um, when I planted this and what I planted. So you can stick it in the soil. And the last thing I wanted to show you is this little acorn that I found. So if you didn't know, an acorn is actually a seed. And this acorn has already started to germinate. You can see these little roots that it sent out. And then um, acorns have this thick shell. And if we pull that away, you can see that this is actually a seed under there. And it's starting to send up this sprout as well as these roots. 
and if I put this acorn back into the soil, it'll grow up into a mature oak tree. So in my parents' garden, we also have this compost barrel where we bring our food scraps and this helps to turn the food scraps into soil. So in my little compost bucket, I have some eggshells and some tea leaves and some carrot peel from a cake that I just made. So I'm gonna put this inside of the compost barrel and that's gonna turn into soil. Thanks, Snail. I'm Ladybug and I wanna share with you my favorite part of community gardens, which is the fact that you can share everything that you grew with your community members and loved ones. This tree that I wanna show you is this lemon tree. So right here we have these lemons aren't quite ready to be picked yet. This one is pretty new. Then it gets to look like this, then like this, and then once it's ready to be picked, it'll be yellow like the ones up there. So we're gonna pick these and then show you how to make lemonade with them. Okay, so we were just able to take off a few lemons from the tree, and I'm gonna show you how we can make lemonade with this tree. So even if you don't have something like this at home, you want to use your hands and squeeze the lemons out, but just chop it in half. And then you stick it on top of here. And this will get all the lemon juice out towards the bottom. And then once it's done, it'll look like this. With all the juice in the pulp out. This is about three and a half lemons. And next, I want to add that to the water. So you want to make sure that you're not adding too much lemon juice. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty sour. So you just kind of want to test it out as you're pouring it in. And then you want to add a little bit of sugar. So same thing, you just kind of want to see. What tastes good and do it to your liking to make sure it's not too sweet or too sour. And then once you're done, you can add a few ice cubes. And then you have lemonade to share with your family Hi again friends. I just want to thank Sloth Snail and Ladybug for helping us learn so much today. First we learned that community gardens are where we can go with our friends and our neighbors to grow local and sustainable food for the whole community. Then we learned how plants germinate and that they just need four things to grow. Water, soil, light, and air. Just four things. And then when they finally do grow, we learned how to harvest them. You guys did such a great job today, and I want to give you props. Ready? Props! Remember to check out the super cool worksheets to do this week, and we can't wait to learn more with you next week, scientists. Bye!